Hello, Gareth here, watercolour artist painting in Japan. And in this video, I'm, I'm basically preparing for an exhibition. I'm going to be showing 40 paintings and 20 of them are going to be this size, which is roughly, I'm really guessing here, 20 maybe by 33 centimetres, something like that. It's a really rough guess, could be, could be way wrong. But anyway, um, I'm really lucky because this company has um, lent me um, all the frames that I need and they've cut the mats for me. So here's, well, here's my painting. This is a painting of a place called Takita in Japan and they have this beautiful traditional street. And uh, I went there with my family and... Um, we went at evening time and there were some beautiful shadows. So that's nice. So um, when I did this, I used masking tape. And so it's got a white border. To be honest, I, I think it would have been better if I didn't do that. Although it does look nice, it's not going to quite... What I'm going to get is this double white edge. So I'm going to get the whiteness of the mat and then this whiteness within. It's not too bad, it's okay, but uh, I would have preferred it if we didn't have that little white gap there, but it's still okay. So that's how it's gonna look. Now, one thing they didn't supply me with this framing company is these things, and these things are really, really good. So basically, these are acid-free. Hopefully all the frames are acid-free. I'm not sure actually, but hopefully they are. But what you do is basically, these things, you fold them like this. They're really, really cheap. And they hold up the painting. Now, if you want, at the art shop, they do it on, on all four corners of the painting. But I don't like that because I like to change my paintings quite a lot. So I just do two on the bottom. And it just stops the painting falling down. And there's nothing more... Um, more terrible, I think, than a painting that's fallen down inside the frame. It just, it just looks not so good. Anyway, the way I use them is not perfect. It's not quite as perfect as I want it to be. Basically, you have to be careful that this thing doesn't go over the edge of the frame. It's easy to do that. And you get the white bit showing. So I make it just up to the edge and I make sure this bit is not showing, this diagonal bit. And I tend to do it like this. And the reason I do it like this is sometimes I have slightly bigger paintings and then this allows me to add bigger paintings and swap and change things, yeah? Um, and it doesn't need to be a tight fit. The most important thing is that it just holds it up and um, that's really all that these things need to do. Okay, and then let's do this one. It's very easy to do. And then put this one here. Okay, and then I turn this over. And sometimes I've got a painting on the back. <laughs> it's just the way it is. And you can do this, you can kind of level it up. So like, oh yeah, I can see here and here it's the same distance. And then if I have it go all the way down, then there's a slight gap here. I probably should have had this inside frame bit a bit smaller, to be honest. But there you go. But what I can do is just lift that up and I know it's fudging and I don't like doing that, but a lot of art is fudging. And then what I do is I just make a crease here in there and a crease here. And I also make a crease by the side and that will actually hold up. And there we go. But I have to be careful with that white bit. I have to make sure that it's even all the way around. Whoops, it got moved a bit. Yeah, I think, okay. Just play around with that a bit. Okay, 
hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then I think across like that, and that's it. So that's fine. Just have to make sure that it doesn't move much. Now, it's not a good idea to use tape because unless it's acid free, but if you do use tape, then you have to peel it off and it's probably going to damage your frame, your mat. So ideally, you don't really want to do that. And then look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's cardboard, but they put a pattern on it. It's really nice, isn't it? Okay. And um, here it comes. So frames are really, really... Um, People are really particular about frames or can be. Um, I like to do frames that are very, very simple. Um, I'm not too mad on this bit of gold here, but in Japan, I think they quite like that. And it, to be honest, it's not too bad. It's not, I don't think it's such a bad thing, but my friend doesn't like it. And um, normally I buy frames where the edge is just plain wood and that's all but this shiny bit I think it's pretty okay okay I'm just getting some uh, string out so what I do is I turn this over now and um, I love this green backing I don't know why they make it green but I just think it looks nice and yeah you've got these things I don't know what they're called but we have to turn them so we can take this thing out and then we push up. I use tissue because I don't want to put grease on the glass. So I use tissue and then we've got many layers here. Just take that off and then what I do is I get my frame and uh, just check it. should just check it one more time. Oh yeah, it's a bit wrong. Okay, let's just play with this. I want to get that white border even all the way around if possible. Yeah. And then put that in there like that. So ideally, this painting should slide down to the bottom. And really, I should have made the inside cut for the, on the mat a bit smaller. But there you go. Okay, and then we put this on, which I think is some, hopefully, uh, some kind of barrier or something. But it might not be. But hopefully it is. And then we've got this thing, which is hopefully acid free as well. Acid free. Uh, what you don't want in here is cardboard. Cardboard is full of acid and it's terrible stuff. Um, but when you start putting acid free stuff in, it can become very expensive. But you do want acid free stuff ideally. It stops the paper going brown. OK, and then we just do this. <clears throat> And this is quite tightly compressed. And if I need to make it even tighter, they've, they've given me this, this extra bit, but I don't need it. I'll put that in the box as just a bit of protection for the glass frame. Okay, and then we're going to do this bit with the string. Now, um, I'll try and do it slowly. So you have a loop like that. And this might be a bit wrong, so don't, don't think this is like the professional way and I could have it wrong, but it works. But anyway, it's like this. And you push it through from the outside. It has to be the outside. And then this bit you put through the middle. You bring all that through. And then you just pull it and you get this lovely knot here. Okay, I wish I'd learned more about knots, but there you go. And then this one outside, and then you go the other way. And if you just pull it all the way, it will all come out. But what you do is with that little gap, 
that little loop, you put it through there. Like that. And that gives us another lovely little knot. And then I think it goes through here. This is what they taught me at the art shop. And then here you just go round and then a final knot here. Just go through the loop like that. Pull it. It just looks quite nice. And then this one here. Pull that. And then you've got like three. One, two, three. All right. Doesn't seem very secure. Okay, here we go. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so you've got three. One, two, three. And then let's have a look. So there's the painting. So I think it looks pretty nice. The only problem with like doing a video of things like this is that the glass reflects, which is a bit of a problem. Um, and then put this in here. I turn it the other way round with the glass down and it's just a kind of bit of protection. And then um, I've got this thing to put on top and I've even got a big cardboard box that it will fit into along with nine other frames really, really snugly. So I hope that's helpful. And um, um, really, I just wanted to show you how to do basic framing very, very basic framing and not go too much into detail about what kind of frames. Although I would always suggest simple, simple frames. So there you go. Uh, I hope this was fun and educational. Bye for now and happy painting and also happy framing. Bye.